Hey hot garbage squad, today we are almost done the 2A Hiva, the Wind Grim Reaper. So as you can see, my Wind Grim Reaper right here, he is almost done. However, my biggest challenge is going to be getting skill ups and max skilling it. I don't have that many Grim Reapers. I might have to just farm Aiden or summon a lot. Not really sure, but I also have the prom going. Not sure if he'll be second, but definitely him being first with you guys getting a lot of feedback about him. However, look forward to that video, but that's not the point of this today's video. Today's video, we want to talk about the runes in Dimensional Hole. So with the introduction of Calderon, there is going to be Swift runes, and there's already three additional dungeons. You're probably wondering, oh, what, what do I do? Like, what, what do I farm, right? And I want to help you prioritize what you should really be doing and things that you should consider and before you decide what you want to farm, okay? So if we just go to my, my assumption here is you can farm all of my b5 okay like you're if you're watching this video you can farm it at b5 if you're watching this video and you can't farm anything at b5 level or b4 level what i suggest you do is you make two a's and even if you make skills or two a's you get crafting materials if you get crafting materials still pretty good better than not using your d whole energy at all so this is going to be targeted for people who can actually do b5 if you look at the runes here the runes uh, for ancient craft is as uh, so. This is probably the easiest way for me to show you. And let's talk about each dungeon, right? But let's backtrack. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you've been farming to um, this the, these dungeons for a long time now. Or um, if you're new, you just started and you don't know which one to farm extensively. Okay, my biggest advice to anyone who's watching is... Do not mix and match. Um, like farming Karzai for one month, farming Lunia for one month, farming Lumel for one month, farming Calderon for one month. That's not a really good strategy. The best strategy here is to focus. And with the introduction of Calderon, it's going to be a whole new rune set. But you only really want one rune set here. So why should you farm Karzan? Well, for Karzan, the only rune that you really want here is a Rage Blade. Nemesis is nice, but not what you're looking for here. So why should you farm Karzan? For those who really, really love Arena, you can make a super fat Lucian, like a super fat Lucian with zero speed, tons of rage and crit damage stats with, the, with these rage blade sets because they're so efficient. So making a strong fat Lucian, but also a speed Lucian. So if you ever go like rage, rage Lucian with a speed slot two, I don't like something like this, for example, if you go right here, rage slot two speed, if you have something like this, right, you can make a speed Lucian plus 100 speed plus 120 speed plus 130 speed, whatever it is. And you can still make it pretty good. I know Master Yu does this. He has a rage blade Lucian. He uses his Karzan stats. So, that's probably the best reason is because you want to upgrade your Lucian or your damage dealers. And by damage dealers, it's really going to be Lucian and maybe Zyros, yeah, maybe like any like cleave unit, but this will benefit Lucian the most. Okay. So for cleave users who don't use any will runes, Karzan is probably your best bet. Alunia. Alunia is by far probably the most safe dungeon to farm. Because right now, we will runes are basically universal, right? Will runes work everywhere, right? And if you farmed Karzan in the past, and then you swap to Lunia, the nemesis swap, like the nemesis pool is shared. So if you have runes, you have grinds, they're shared. So you're not losing out on anything there. And then Despair. Despair has fallen off meta quite a bit. Right, not many people use despair nowadays, especially in RTA. There's not a lot of despair. Like despair is probably Antares, but you can also put it on violent with zero speed. There's not many despair monsters in RTA. However, in Guild War, Guild Siege, despair is more viable. However, when you think about it, will obviously number one, and then despair. Okay, and uh, despair works really well for uh, things like uh, wind. Wind Raki. What's Wind Raki? Ethna, right? Ethna works very well in Despair too because of the AoE. Uh, for my account personally, if you look at my account personally, uh, what do I have on Despair? So I just go to Despair right here. What do I have on Despair? Rika is pretty good on Despair, right? That's a good one. Uh, Clara is also really good in Despair, but she needs like speed substats to make her work. And Terrace is the obvious one here. 
Your TOA units, right? TOA units like Beretta, Mantura, they do very well in Despair as well. So like I said, Despair, not very good for RTA right now because Violent is king. You know, surprise there. So this is more of a PvE, PvE um, Guild War set. Again, you see the runes here. Juno. Juno works very well in Despair in Arena Defense. Not, not so much in RTA. RTA, she works well in Despair, but I think a lot of people put on Violent or a crit damage or high crit rate despair set um can't go really wrong with it pretty good but at the end of the day you don't want to farm despair runes just for a juno right you want to farm it as much as you can for all units again ethna right here ethna anything new here i guess tyrone right tyrone can do it too tyrone he's got a good dis aoe cc two aoe cc skills and can um, stun and despair proc too that's pretty nice but at the end of the day pretty limited oh samoth is a big one too samoth is a big one too but for rta i don't put mine on despair because i need more speed and damage so i don't put it on despair but if you have really, really good despair runes sure you can um a lot i see a lot of people put despair gemini i don't really agree with that because you want gemini to take first turn followed by like cc control like ganymede okeanos so despair gemini is probably a gimmick that you can use on offense or on defense if they're not expecting it so don't really recommend it for that but as you can see i don't i have a lot of despair runes i just don't really have like i really don't have a use for them you know what i mean okay going back to will so will is like by far by far the best rune set that you can possibly have right will works in literally every part of the game and the easiest way to climb an rta is actually using will if you're able to not get controlled and cc'd and take either second turn or first turn your uh, your likelihood of climbing and being safe because you're climbing the ladder you're facing everyone different styles different room quality at the end of the day if you're fully willed you're always consistently not getting like effed by rng right so Will runes are obviously really, really good here. So let's talk about Lumel now. So for Lumel, there's only two situations. One, you know what you're doing, or two, you're a noob and you're farming this, okay? So by you know what you're doing, I'm talking about you have very specific units that do very well on Will, but also Vampire, not so much Despair, right? Because in, in Lunia, you still get Nemesis runes. Those are very good. But in Lumel, let's, let's see it again. For Lumel, we only have... Or is it Lumil? We have Vampire and Will. Okay, there's no there's no discussion here, like zero discussion that you want energy runes, zero discussion you want guard runes, zero discussion you want destroy runes. It's literally Will, Vampire versus Will, Nemesis, and Despair, right? So you're missing a rune set here. So let's go back on topic. You have very specific units. What are those? Maybe you're a cleave player like me and you play Garo, right? Like this Garo rune, I'm not gonna deny it. This is insane. It's got even HP percentage in here, right? Maybe you need some nemesis. Maybe you need some vampire runes, right? Uh, sorry, Lumel, you don't get nemesis runes, but I just wanted to show this to you because it's dope. But vampire runes. Maybe you want better. Like this vampire rune is not very good for my Garo. It's literally almost a blue rune because you got two rolls here, one roll here that doesn't really matter. So. Right, my Garo has got some insane runes. So if you want to improve your cleave, your Bastet Garo uh, Draco cleave, then maybe you farm for vampire runes and not rage blade runes, right? But again, vampire runes only go on so many units, whereas rage blade will despair will goes on like almost everything. So you're you're literally fishing for one good unit one good rune here like you could be fishing for something that looks like this but ancient rune right uh, another one that's really big is alika alika does very well on vampire as well but most of people who put who use Leica, i think they put it on violent i i honestly prefer on violent because it's got more kill potential and with a buff on skill one you can leave you can leech hp better with violent and your revenges but also if you put it on vampire it definitely just lives a little bit longer but it doesn't have the damage output that you need for the ko sometimes so i just prefer violent or rage so Leica is one the next the second biggest one is going to be a miho because it's very free to play friendly and by very free to play friendly i mean like you know not an i4 and i5 that's unobtainable okay so she does very well on vampire nemesis for sure but there's only really one build for miho and that's like vampire or violent like it's like i said violent works almost almost on literally everything right so if you put it on vampire you got you're gonna want lumel right 
and then the next big ones are things i don't own but um very familiar with them <sighs> i know you guys are ragdoll light ragdoll i forget his name at this moment uh, and then maybe leo right maybe you put leo on a vamp vampire set but to be honest with you that like Le like you see my leos on triple fight because it's for arena right if you use leo for arena it's probably triple fight if you use it for guild war or siege for for kill potential 1v3 potential vampire is the play but leo a very common thing i see people do and maybe it's just out of necessity right because you don't have violent runes people put leo on vampire for rta and no one targets like if people let your leo through they let it through for a reason because they're playing around it so you don't need violent i mean you don't need vampire because no one's attacking it it's just going to be alive and doing nothing and getting your passive being used for the enemy as well right so a lot of people put it on violent right like this thing almost has to be on violent with very tanky stats and a lot of damage because if you use it for cleave if you violent proc, you almost kill the Lucian, right? You violent proc, you turn one Leo, Lucian, violent proc, kill it, GG, right? Or if you turn one Leo, the Bastet, it resists, you violent, you have another chance, right? Vampire Leo just does not work. So, like I said, there's very, there's very small amount of pool monsters, a pool of monsters that you can use for vampire. And that's why I don't really suggest you farm it just for vampire and just farm necro for rage vampire and will so now the big ticket item is now calderon right this one this one is huge right i'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna craft some of these babies first oh <laughs> uh, no tolerance oh tolerance I, I need those for my uh for my noob account oh yes give me those tolerance baby but, but anyways all right, while I'm crafting this, oh, shield. You see how, like, I guess this could be used for your copper bulldozer, but I, I really don't need it. But you can see how unimpressed I am by some of these crafts. And yes, I will talk about, will I farm this? Will some of the top players farm this? And uh, destroy. I, that's, that's really efficient, but not good enough for me, okay? Oh, no! Why is this not swift? Why this is a Tricaru room, but this is not my this is my my mule. Oh my god. Oh I'm so i I'm so sad. Why is that not swift? Why was that not swift calm to us? Oh my god, calm to us. Dude, I'm getting a lot. Right? Is this the way to craft tolerance rune for your Tricaru guys to build Grim Reapers? Oh I hate this game. Why? Okay, but is this is this the way you build Grim Reapers and then you use those Grim Reapers to craft tolerance runes here for Tricaru? Did I just find something out that's really, really smart of me? Or maybe I'm just really lucky or unlucky, however you want to look at it. Okay, but anyways. Okay, this dungeon, there is literally, literally one rune set that you want to farm, and that's Swift. They balance this by putting four trash sets and one good set, okay? So here is the question. With the introduction of a new dungeon, should you farm this dungeon over the one you're currently farming? Whether it be these two or this one even, uh, this one, this one versus this one, should you farm Calderon? I think I, I messaged um, I messaged GT, I messaged Masayu, they plan on doing it, right? They do plan on doing it. However, the biggest question mark is a lot of you guys are a lot of you guys have runes that look like maybe this, right? Uh, not this, like this. It's like not fully grinded. You're just either missing grinds or you just don't have them. Like they're not grinded and gemmed out, for example. Like if I did this, this is done, right? But a lot of you guys will be missing runes, like grinds and gems for you to make the best ancient rune. And you're farming and refilling for that one grind or gem that would make that amazing like for example i just want to flex this because my ancient i, I reapped this by the way so for this one you see how this is 15 i got like i managed to get two of these right in in a scenario where i have a 22 speed will ancient rune i don't have a defense gem in here 
you can bet that top players will farm a Lunia just for this gem in order to make this efficient and usable, right? If you don't have this defense right here, like for example, this is not even max, right? I can find a legend grind in here, and that's what I'd be fishing for before I fish a Lunia. So what I'm trying to say is right now, your, your current rune set of ancient runes, people are still farming and trying to get grinds and gems to per make them perfect and make them usable. Because an ancient rune without the max grinds and gems is not as good as a regular rune that you're going to get from R5 with grinds and gems. Anyways, hope that made sense. Um, yes, basically, yeah, I will farm that, but this is what I'm this is what I'm suffering from. Seven, 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 one. Sorry, seven. Sorry, this is what, this one. I'm nine nine hundred and seventy seven out of thousand, and you can bet most of these are ancient ones, as you can see. So with another rune set and another, sorry, with an introduction of four or five more rune sets, I don't think I don't think my inbox can handle this, right? I really cannot look at this. I have a hundred of these despair grinds and gems. Anyways. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what dungeon you'll be farming.